Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm on another walk. As ever, I'm out in the countryside. I'm in West Sussex, and I've parked up my van down a little country lane, just a little to the north of Newbridge, where I walked the other day to New, hang on, what was it, Ronham Lock. And I'm making my way back to Ronham Lock. I was very enchanted with it, actually and I'm walking back on a different route through this lovely little bit of um, woodland here which I can see that uh, in a well about a month's time I guess a few weeks time the bluebells here are going to be immense I must remember that uh, it'll be worth coming back to have a look at them they're just strewn all over the place absolutely gorgeous I wanted to see if there was a, another route to the canal to be able to walk perhaps um, on future occasions more and more of the Way and Arran Canal. It's uh, such an interesting canal and it is of course the one in West Sussex that is slowly being restored so I think being somebody who likes canals my interest is very much piqued because it's in my county. So this is um, just a lovely little woodland path which again if I just stop for a moment and listen to the sound of the bird song it is all around me and the great thing is that, and I hadn't really appreciated this just how far away from traffic noise it is and that's just really really lovely to to have that moment of utter isolation from things and being back in nature and as I look around here I don't know whether this was ever a productive piece of woodland there's coppices or looks like stools of hazel um, or indeed perhaps this is a uh, walnut looking down here maybe no no hazel I think because there's still catkins there and uh, numerous other bits and bobs, but it's just a narrow strip that leads down to the canal. There is a ditch down there um, with water. Maybe I'll just venture down and, and have a look off the path. I don't want to tread too much on the bluebells, but I think this little channel must go down to the canal. And I wonder if it was a way of feeding water into the canal. Um, back in the day because obviously canals needed water can't help noticing now and I'm absolutely fascinated to watch the buds that are just coming out as we move into spring you can just see the uh, the leaves beginning to open it's it's absolutely beautiful I've noticed that uh, elder has been pretty much the first uh, and what I should do is keep a diary really and write these things down so that then next year I know what order of things come out so I'm not sure if that's um, probably hazel that I've just been looking at that's the buds are coming out now so here we are middle of March uh, and I'll see if we can find some elder because that's already coming out in leaf I notice the, uh, if I can find the sunshine, the catkins now, the, the dead catkins are, are on the floor and they're all over the place from the, the hazel trees. So another little, another little sign that we've, we've moved on in the season. Noticed that along here there's these little footbridges and you can weave around this bit of I think must be a bit of ancient woodland because of the this holly 
and then there's the bluebells. That always is indicative. And where this um, stream comes down, there's all this sedge. There's another little bridge just here over these over these tiny little brooks. Let's take a stroll onto there. And if you've got the time, how lovely to just stand around here and and maybe watch the the insects as they you know flitter and fly down and land on the water on the, t the surface water, the water boatmen and all of that. There's a whole load of other little plants and brambles and things poking up out of the, out of the ground as well in this uh, little uh, wetland, I suppose. Um, and I guess this area probably had quite a lot of water fairly recently. It'll go back onto the main path now. Sometimes it isn't about trying to just have, uh, I don't know, two or three mile walk, whatever it is. I mean, I know the exercise is great, but sometimes it is just about stopping and looking and absorbing what you see. I think, I mean, walking is great, absolutely great. And it's, it's a lovely thing to do. But sometimes we also uh, keep our eyes down on the ground and we don't look around and, and we don't stop enough. And I realize I don't stop enough. I don't stop, you know, I'm trying to get my circuit done back to the van and then back home, edit the video. But actually what I should be more thinking of is, is just stopping, especially now as the spring is starting to, um, to leap forward. And here I've noticed some alder, not elder, that I wanted to find to show you the leaves, but alder. If I just do this very carefully here, a little thing has fallen. And these, oops, these are the cones from the alder tree. I say cones, I don't think they're technically cones. They probably are seeds, I imagine. And it doesn't surprise me that down here by the water's edge, there'll be some alder trees because they love water. Can you hear that sound? That beautiful sound of running water. It's just so therapeutic, isn't it? It's just so lovely. And it reminds me how much the natural world, the natural sounds, just something as simple as running water is so incredibly calming and, and enriching as well to hear it. We, we rarely do stop and listen to all this magic, these, these incredible gifts that are here around us that have been that have been given, that we've grown up with. We don't stop enough. And I think there's something about you reach a, a certain point in your life and you realise just how much modern day living, with all its benefits, is a, a meagre shadow really to the beauty and the wonders that are really out there for us to enjoy. The River Arran is just on my right and I can hear a, an outlet of water, I think. 
coming from somewhere around here. It's looking very beautiful and tranquil. But this is some form of weir, I think. And I know that um, when I came to Ronan Lock before, one of my viewers said, interestingly, he said it didn't look that it was necessary to have a lock there because it, it didn't look like the ground went down. You know, there was no sort of hill or anything, which was true. But clearly there, it must have, they wouldn't go to that expense for no reason, of course. You can probably hear this, this weir, so which is taking the water, I guess from the river, around and into, into the canal to keep that fed. We'll have a look at that, but first, I'm just standing by a rather magnificent blackthorn tree that I wanted to see the other day. It is stupendous and it's lovely to see the blossom out. It's just absolutely fabulous. I love it. Well, that was fascinating coming across the sluice gates here on the river and uh, not really 100% certain what the purpose of that is because it's well away from the lock which is uh, just in front of me here you can probably just see the bridge that I crossed the last time in the distance so we're going to just stroll up to there to finish this this walk I hope you have um, enjoyed it it's been interesting sometimes you know you go in one way to a place and it is absolutely astonishing how different and a different experience it is if you approach the same destination from somewhere else actually just pausing here briefly to come here to have a look at the the river that now winds its way down behind me here in this really weird and circuitous route and you can see why it was necessary to put the canal in because it's just too windy um, and of course too uh, narrow and subject to all sorts of tidal things to get boats up here so it made perfect sense though of course it would have been very expensive to dig the canal Well, I've arrived back at the lock, Ronan Lock, and it's been a fantastic walk. Um, as you saw, completely different route, whole load of different stuff. Fantastic to see uh, nature now at that point where it's just breaking out. That's really, really um, wonderful for me to see. And we have some warm air, which is great. We have some sunshine. I'm hoping that the rest of the year is going to be like that. And in the future that I can get into my van, the restrictions are lifted and that one can go further afield. But um, yeah, if you get a chance to come along either of these routes, it's absolutely fantastic. It's drying out now. Don't come in the middle of the winter because it does flood and gets very boggy. But what a lovely route. Anyway, um, check out the, uh, uh, the, um, the trust, the, the Way and Aaron Trust, Canal Trust. I'll put a link in, in the description. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe, become a patron, support what I do, and I'll continue to make these videos. Till next time, bye for now. Bye bye.